So I'm guessing either you or someone you know is going through the probate process in California and you're wondering how much it's gonna cost. That's what I'm gonna break down today's stick around. Hi, I'm Annie Baker. I'm a realtor here in Northern California in the Bay Area, and I specialize in selling houses that are in trusts and probate. So I'm not gonna break down and explain what a, the probate process is. I have other videos on that, but you wanna know what are the costs involved? How much is this gonna cost you? So I'm gonna give you kind of a list of an example of some of the costs that you're gonna face dealing with the probate process here in California. So number one, anything of value, you're gonna to have to get appraised. Typically you start with the house, any kind of property, and an appraisal will cost pretty much between six or $800 in our area. Depending on the size of the house, it can go well over a thousand if it's a really large estate. If you have to get values of cars, paying for that, any antiques or jewelry, there can be a cost to have those items appraised. You might be having to do an estate sale. If you're local and you wanna tackle that big project yourself, it won't cost you really anything other than your time, maybe some ads to promote it. Uh, but more often than not, a lot of times people are hiring companies. There are companies that will do estate sales online or in person, and they typically charge some sort of fee plus a percentage. So you're looking at a fee, let's just say round numbers, at least around $1,000 for something like that. Uh, then you're gonna have a lot of court filing documents, uh, filing documents with the court that they're gonna charge for those. You'll have to get certified copies of documents, and of course they charge for those too. More than likely you'll have a, an accountant helping and they have some fees. You're gonna have to deal with the taxes of the person that passed away and then there's lawyers. So a lot of people can try and do this process on their own, but I highly recommend getting some help because it really is a complicated process. And unless you have the patience of Job and the time to do this, an attorney will really make your life a lot simpler and there's varying costs of that. And the cost will go up significantly if there's anyone contesting what's going on with any of this sale. If someone does not agree, then you could end up in litigation. There's gonna be a lot more court issues going on, a lot more documents being filed. Uh, so depending on your situation, those kind of fees can really get up there. There's something called a probate bond. It's a type of insurance. It could be needed. It can be waived if it's somewhat amicable. Uh, and so you might be having to deal with an ad investment advisor as well. Sometimes they'll charge fees depending, not, not as often, but occasionally they can to kind of help you sort through all the investment accounts. And really that's it kind of in a nutshell, but for round numbers, what it will all cost, typically here in California, it's between four and 7% of the estate value. So the house value, any investment accounts, bank accounts, um, cars, jewelry, all the assets. You total that amount and on the low side, most likely it's around 4% and upwards of seven, 10%, depending on how complicated the estate is. So let's say a, a smaller estate, let's say you know they had a condo, some cars, some bank accounts, let's just say it all valued a million dollars. That's probably one of the smaller estates that you're gonna get when property is involved in our neck of the woods. And that would cost you, you know, around $40,000. So that $40,000 basically is deducted before any other money is paid out. Some of those costs well, could be paid up front, but you're looking at $40,000 for the probate process, upwards of, I mean, gosh, $100,000, depending on the state's value. So that's just a quick little overview. I hope it helped. If you have any questions about the probate process, I have other videos that I've done. Please don't hesitate to comment below or reach out to me and I'm happy to help you. So good luck with the gear probate and until next time, have a great one.